Well, this morning we're giving you a raw inside look at an LA City fire station that services the downtown area right around Skid Row. The 911 calls there seemingly never stop, which is why fire station number nine has earned the title of being the busiest fire station in the nation. And our Natalie Burnell is embedded with the crews there and she joins us from the station this morning. She's got more for us. Natalie, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Melvin. One of the engines actually just came back from a run. It's been a very busy morning as usual, and this might look like your average fire station, but it is anything but. These guys are responding to up to 100 calls a day, which is a huge call load given that they service the smallest area in the department. Now, we wanted to find out what a day in the life of Fire Station 9 is like, so we embedded with the crews. Take a look. It's only an hour into their shift, but these LA City firefighter paramedics are already busy responding to one of many medical calls they'll get on this day. This one, a possible overdose on Skid Row. George. They inject the patient with Narcan and transfer him onto the ambulance for an IV. The medication works fast, but these crews work even faster. Sugar coming right now. The patient is so malnourished and his veins so damaged, they have to use a bone drill to deliver fluids. The firefighter paramedics here are young, but experienced, methodical, and tireless. You get a lot of overdoses in our call loads, overdoses, chest pain, psychological emergencies, um, just about everything you can possibly imagine uh, we go on. Meet Mike Vallada, one of the proud members of Fire Station 9 in downtown LA. Station 9 services an area of just 1.2 square miles, but it's smack dab in the middle of Skid Row, and it's been named the busiest fire station in the nation. Yeah, I grew up in a fire service, and I've always believed that doing the greatest good for the greatest number of people is something I wanted to do, and that's why I'm here. Here, the greatest number of people adds up to thousands each month. Like any station, they respond to the structure fires and car crashes, but more than 80% of their 911 calls are for medical issues, and most of those calls are tending to the homeless. You get tested in many different ways. Sometimes uh, you go on the same person three, four, five times a day. In 2018, Fire Station 9 ran more than 35,000 calls. And if you ask Mike why he or any of his team members wanted to be a part of 9, you'll hear the same answers. There's the experience part, of course. Nothing prepares you for dealing with any type of situation like this part of LA. But they also come here for the personal fulfillment, to feel like they're making a difference, and for the family they get to join. This gives me an opportunity to help the most people that I can. The members at this station have the strongest amount of fortitude that I've seen at any other station. Rico Gross is one of Mike's captains at Station 9. He says the crews have one mission driving them here taking care of the citizens. They're running those 30 plus calls and they're having the same smile, the same attitude on their face throughout. Here's a rare glimpse of one of their few and far between breaks, a meal together for sometimes only a few minutes before the next call comes. It was hard to even finish an interview without being interrupted. I'm grateful to have a job and I'm, and I'm happy to help people. Um, And there's a job. <laughs> but this job as a whole comes with some unique challenges. Aside from their run volume, the crews here also have to be extremely careful with personal safety given the territory they cover. Some of their patients suffering from substance abuse or mental illness become combative. Some have even been armed. About a month ago, someone did pull a knife on one of our captains and was threatening to stab him. There's times where you can be exposed to needles, human waste, trash. Yet nothing seems to get them down. In fact, it's hard not to notice that the energy these guys had at the start of their shift 12 hours ago hasn't burned out, and they still have 12 hours to go. For some, including Mason Patrick, it's even longer. Most of us don't usually work just 24 hours. We're usually here for 48, 72. Some guys are here even longer. Um, with the amount of calls that we run, you know, we don't get a lot of sleep. Even when the overnight runs extinguish any chance for them to rest, they say no one here is ever phased. In fact, they seem to thrive on the constant hustle and on getting to work together. It makes me feel proud working with uh, men and women assigned here. It's just uh, it's a privilege. Which is why Station 9's teams can't just be measured by their number of calls, but by the commitment to their calling. 
now that annual list is compiled by Firehouse Magazine. It's called the National Run Survey, and we wanted to show you some of the other stations that made the top five. Number two was in Baltimore City, number three in Nashville, and rounding out number five was LA County Fires Station 33. But it was just incredible to see the devotion of these teams, especially on the front lines of the homeless crisis we have in this city. Oh, Guys. Natalie, great reporting and so nice to get inside and see how these men and women live.